Welcome from Nairobi. We have been asked by so many of you to not only always show the top end of the market, like the super luxury um, apartments, but also to uh, show a bit more affordable option. And uh, today, this really is an affordable option. We're just uh, off Waiaki Way in Nairobi, and we have a three bedroom unit that is affordable in price, of course, as always, the price is in the description. We're not saying it in the video because sometimes prices change and then we can't edit it if it's in the video. So these apartments are for sale. And um, I would say without further ado, let's get started. This is, as you have probably guessed, the entrance door. From the entrance door, you have the option to either turn right into bedroom number one, left into the very spacious kitchen, or straight into the living room where we just started. Since you already got a bit of a glimpse of the living room, I would say let's start with bedroom number one because it has a special feature. The bedroom itself is uh, very nice. It has uh, space for a queen bed with plenty of space on the side so you could actually put a king size bed as well. It has its own windows, uh, so plenty of natural daylight. Ensuite bathroom um, with a walk-in shower. So this is the walk-in shower. It's quite spacious actually. Then you have a sink, you have the toilet. Again, if you have watched a few of our videos, there's not so much to say about bathrooms. But the special feature that I mentioned is there is a door that leads straight into the hallway. So this could be a guest room and um, your guests can enter straight from the staircase, uh, from the common areas of the building without having to go into the apartment. So very nice, a very nice feature. Then of course you have shelvings, uh, wardrobe space in here, sufficient uh, for, for a room. So um, then let's move on. Let's just approach from this side and walk our way uh, through the uh, unit. This is the kitchen. And for a relatively compact apartment, I have to say that this kitchen is very spacious and you have a lot of countertop space. For an apartment of this size and in this price range, it's very uncommon to have these um, high-end appliances, such as uh, this five burner hob. Uh, so very convenient actually. You have four um, gas and then one electric one and a built-in oven and of course, as it's standard, at least in Kenya now. Uh, well, actually, it's not yet standard, but um, should be standard is a extraction fan with five years of warranty. So that's good in case you break it. Um, space for a fridge, for a large fridge actually here. And then there's even a pantry area on this side. And um, yeah, it doesn't have a door. It doesn't really need the door. But you can see you have plenty of say, uh, space to store stuff, even for larger items like crates of Coca-Cola and all this stuff. And then the uh, countertop space that I was mentioning. So double sink, of course, and it's, it's thought through because you wash here, then you have a lot of space to put the dishes, um, the clean dishes. And typically, if you eat in the dining room, which I'll show you in a second, you can just put the dirty dishes here, move them out, wash them, clean dishes, put them away. So, very nice. Um, well, we don't have a key for this door, um, but there is a balcony space outside with um, water access for a, um, what's it called? The stuff that cleans your, uh, your clothes. A washing machine, yeah, a washing machine and the, um, <laughs> a, um, yeah, just stuff also to let everything dry. So on we go into the living room. And the living room is quite spacious because it's combined with the dining room. So you have, this again is a sample house like most of our houses that we film. And um, you have this uh, couch uh, in here that is actually quite bulky um, in the whole setup. But despite the fact that it's that, this room doesn't feel overcrowded, I think. Uh, so you have one double or triple seater couch, one double seater over there. Plenty of space over here for lights. And then this is where you would put your TV. It's a sample house, thus uh, they typically don't have TVs. But I trust everyone's imagination that you can picture a, uh, a TV on this wall. 
what you also have in the this uh, apartment is a balcony and that balcony is rather spacious um, so you have enough space to put a table out here um, this is ground floor this as you can see it goes up a, a few floors so um, the views vary of course and the building is performing quite well in terms of rental as you can tell by the by the number of cars that are in the parking lot so might be a very good uh, opportunity for you to invest here before we talk about the dining area if you like the video so far um, please like it you know everyone tells you that it but it actually does help us a lot in terms of views um, and the algorithms so we would very much appreciate it if you like our videos please check out our channel and uh, maybe even subscribe to it if you like it there's some really cool stuff already on there there's other cool stuff coming and for question please refer to the comments which we all read and respond to but talking about cool stuff this is a cool dining area so you have a table for six um, which doesn't feel too crowded in here then you also have a sideboard on this side uh, yeah where you put stuff um, and again a rather large window and the beauty about the whole layout of the place is you can get a lot of cross ventilation uh, in here so even on a hot day today it's not very hot it's actually quite chilly in Nairobi but you just open a window there a window there and the wind goes through so you don't need air condition so as always we save the main bedroom for last so we use the 